Hey everyone, it's Heather. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be doing the Unpopular Opinion book tag. This has become unpopular. I think it was more popular a while ago, but I am relatively new to booktube and I've never done it. So I thought I would do it and give you guys kind of more of a look into my reading taste if you haven't been following me over a book wild that was my previous channel with my friend Chantel. Editing Heather here I totally forgot to mention that this tag was created by the book archer and I will put a link to their channel below go check them out a ton of people have done this tag and it's become very popular so go check out their content that's all the first question is a popular book or a series that you didn't like and I Oh honey, I have so many. Okay, so the first is Outlander. This is maybe my most hated book ever. And I have so many questions about its popularity. There is romanticized rape everywhere in this book. I hated the main character. I thought she was mean. I just had so many issues. That is my most hated book of all time. It's been a long time since I've read it, so I can't tell you more in detail why I hated it so much, but I remember like vicious anger while reading that book. Let me know if you also hate that book because I would love to talk to people who also hate that book. Also, I did not like The Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald, which is a classic that everyone seems to love. I just like, I just didn't care. I don't know. I just didn't care about it. I didn't see the point of it. It's a pretty short book and I didn't want to finish it. Like I just didn't care. The second question is other book or series that everyone hates that you love. And I could not think of one. I think that the books that I generally like are books that other people generally like as well. I don't think I have very controversial opinions when I do like something because I am pretty picky. So I tend to just not like a lot of things, but the things that I do like are pretty well liked. Question three, a love triangle where the person ended up with the wrong one. And I never liked in Little Women when Lori and Amy end up together. Oh, that might be a spoiler. I didn't think it was believable. I don't know, it just kind of bummed me out a little bit. It made me feel bad for Amy. I just didn't like it. And I think a lot of people do but I also think a lot of people don't so unpopular I don't know I also don't read again I just don't generally read that many romances so the only other love triangle that immediately came to mind was Ron Harry and Hermione and when I was younger I mean I was obsessed with Ron so I wanted Hermione and Harry to end up together so that Ron could be with me which makes total logical sense Okay, number four, popular book genre you never reach for. The two that immediately came to mind were romance and young adult contemporary, or really any contemporary. I've been picking up contemporaries more recently, but I am a person with a lot of emotion and a lot of love, and I uh, tend to stay away from the things that will make me feel something because I already have a lot of feelings and I don't want to feel more. So I read books like thrillers or fantasy where I can kind of remove myself from real life as an escape and not like be mired more in my emotions because girls got enough. Number five is the popular character that you do not like and the one that immediately came to mind was Wade from Ready Player One. I read this recently and he annoyed the shit out of me. And I think Ready Player One was really popular on booktube a few years ago and I've only seen a few videos with people talking about it recently but everyone who has talked about it recently has loved Wade and loved his character arc and I thought Wade was a little whiny brat and I did not like being in his head. I really liked Ready Player One but I did not love the character of Wade. He was kind of like an incel honestly but he wasn't but he kind of was. Number six is popular author that you do not like. And I couldn't think of anyone for this. There's not generally any authors that I, you know, even if I've read something like a book that I didn't like 
I wouldn't say that I don't like the author. I have no answer for that one. Number seven, a popular book trope that you're sick of seeing. This one I thought of immediately um, because it's been on the forefront of my mind because of some of the books that I've read recently, but I hate when narrative of a story becomes its own character. I love when stories are within a story and I love like books about books but I really dislike when storytelling as as an essence is a character or the narrative is a character it makes me really mad because that's not real and then the eighth question is popular series you have no interest in reading and I have written down anything by Cassandra Clare specifically I think it says mortal instruments I just I don't know I just have no interest it doesn't call to me it doesn't look like it's in my future and then the last question is what movie or TV adaptation do you like better than the book and the only thing that came to mind was no country for old men I watched the movie before reading the book and I felt like the book did not add anything to what the movie portrayed I just watched the movie because the book was literally like a script for the movie with no added context. That's probably not a very unpopular opinion, I would assume most people who have read the book and seen the movie. Actually, I don't know. I can't speak for other people. So those are all of my unpopular opinions. I don't like it to be negative, but I think it's okay to have opinions and disagree with people and I don't think that takes away from anyone's reading experience. I think that's part of the fun of reading and the booktube community is like having conversations about things we disagree about and agree about and it's not shade or hate or anything like that. It's just starting a conversation. So I would love to have conversations about any of the opinions that I have, whether you agree or disagree, why I think I am off base completely about anything um, kindly of course please thank you for watching and i will see you guys on the next one